Hello, we're back. In episode 50, I actually wasn't sure what we were going to be porting Invader to, but it turns out we're importing Vader to the Mega 65 in BASIC using BASIC 65. The Mega 65 is a reimagined computer from back in the 80s. It was supposed to be a follow-up to the Commodore 64, but was never released. Until now. Recreated from original specs using an FPGA. So now we'll fire up the Mega 65 and get a directory. And you can see the contents of the drive. Then we'll sprite load our invader sprite. The Mega 65 has a built-in sprite editor, and we'll just tap the S key for the sprite editor, and now we can toggle through our current sprites. And for the Invader, these are the sprites that have not yet been designed in this bank. Now we can exit this, and we'll sprite load. the turret sprites. And again, we'll enter Sprite Editor by holding down the Restore key for a second. And we'll tap the S key, and these are our turret sprites. And again, the sprites that have not yet been detailed out for that particular bank. So now we'll go ahead and exit this and exit that and we will B load, binary load, the latest version of Invader. And we can list it. Now, the first thing you'll notice in this editor for the Meg 65 is that we can scroll up and down through our code in order to edit it, which is just awesome. And up here, you'll see where we load our sprites. So, actually, I think it's a little bit further up right here. We can sprite load our turret and invader sprites. So, no more data statements and four next loops, which is beautiful. This editor also has a built-in renumber and, um, and a find command, which is pretty cool. So now we'll go ahead and run this. And here it is, and the first thing you'll notice is that I have horrible sounds because I hate making sounds and I have yet to figure out if you can use digitized sounds in uh, basic 65 so we'll go ahead and let the invader kill us now and that's game over and we can restart it with the F1 key while turning the machine on and choose another core now it'll boot as a Commodore 64 So next episode, I will be showing a port of Invader to the Picotron, a fantasy 8-bit computer system or workstation in Lua using the Picotron programming IDE. So that about wraps up episode 51 of my journey in game programming. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments or suggestions you may have that could make these a better experience. Until then, bye. I'll talk to you next time.